Hey family, Minister Robert here. So we've been on this topic about suffering's purpose. One thing that we've seen as a truth about suffering is that one, it is allowed by God. But we've also seen that suffering may be caused by, it might be caused by, it could be caused by the fact that the Lord wants us to return to him in some capacity in our lives. But I believe there is another possibility for which suffering occurs in the life of a believer or unbeliever. And we could see it so clearly in John chapter 9. Beginning at verse 1, John 9 says, As he went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, Jesus said. But this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. This happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. This story in John chapter 9 is a very interesting story. We see a man who's been blind since birth. And the disciples ask a reasonable question, question to Jesus. The question was, who sinned? Did his parents sin before he was born or while he was in the womb? Or possibly did he sin in the womb? And Jesus, to correct their understanding, simply said, no, neither. None of them did. But he then said that this man was born blind such that the works of God might be displayed. Another translation says such that God's glory may be displayed. Friends, and I believe that brings us to another truth about suffering. Suffering may not be a cause of anything that we've done. It may not be a cause of anything that has happened to us. It may just be for God to get the glory from it. As we continue on with this story, Jesus spit on the ground, made some dirt, put it in the man's eyes, told him to go wash in the pool of Siloam. He did, and immediately this blind man, this blind man from birth was able to see. And everybody praised and celebrated except the religious leaders. He was taken to him, and they began to ask him a series of questions about how his sight was restored. And all he could say was that, I don't know, but this man spit, made some mud, put in my eyes, and told me to wash, and I could see. That's it. But the, but the religious leaders still didn't like that. So later on in the text, they said, they basically said, give God glory and tell us the truth. And the, the man was like, hey, I've been telling you the truth this whole time. Do you want to be his disciples too? <laughs> the man's testimony about what Jesus had done gave God glory. Even in the midst of being blind, for however long he had been blind, as soon as his eyes were opened up, he gave God glory for all that God through Jesus had done for him. His suffering was purposeful such that God got the glory from it. So the question we need to ask ourselves today is, in the suffering that we are experiencing, can we give God glory? Can others see us giving God through the giving God glory through the suffering that we may be experiencing or facing? Brothers and sisters, God allows suffering sometimes to turn us back to Him, but other times to just such that He would get the glory from the position that we're in. So let's give Him the glory even in the midst of our suffering. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, this man, this blind man had a testimony. He had a test that he was blind, but now he can see. And he didn't want to miss an opportunity to tell people about what God had done for him. I pray, Lord, that as we experience, as we experience something, that you give us the strength to be able to tell what God has done for us, even before the deliverance comes. Because, Lord, sometimes suffering is just to give you glory. So help us to give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
So thank you for studying with me. Come back as we continue to talk suffering's purpose. God bless.